Spider, cockroach, jellyfish, squid, leech, lobster. What do these inhabitants of the earth have in common? They are spineless. Unlike vertebrates, invertebrate organisms do not have a backbone. The nervous system of invertebrates is also usually more primitive and simplistic. Whereas vertebrate nervous systems can have up to trillions of neurons, invertebrate nervous systems can be composed of as little as 300 neurons. The nervous system has two major functions, to monitor the external and internal environment with sensory receptors. For example, when a change is detected, such as a change in environmental temperature or a decrease in oxygen, the corresponding muscles or glands are stimulated and the organism is able to respond to the external or internal stimulus. The nervous system of invertebrates is made up of two main components, neurons and synapse. There are three different types of neurons, sensory neurons, motor neurons, and inner neurons. These neurons can be grouped into clusters referred to as ganglia. These components interact through electrical signals that are created by neurons and exchanged through synapse to other neurons, muscle cells, endocrine cells, and exocrine cells. This is a very fast transmission and happens in just a fraction of a second. Once these impulses reach their destination, a response occurs. The invertebrate nervous system interacts with multiple systems in the body, the cardiovascular system, muscular system, endocrine, lymphatic, respiratory, digestive, reproductive, urinary, and integumentary system. For example, the endocrine system. Hormones provide feedback to the brain to affect neural processing and reproductive hormones affect the development of the nervous system. There are several notable differences in the nervous system between simple and complex invertebrates as well as vertebrates. Invertebrates with simple nervous systems, such as jellyfish, have nerve nets and scattered nerve cells but lack a brain, central, and peripheral nervous system. Some invertebrates, such as sea stars, have a partial peripheral nervous system. Worms, insects, and squids are more complex invertebrates and have both a central and peripheral nervous system. The primary differences between vertebrates and invertebrates is the number of neurons and the size of nervous system structures. Vertebrates have a spinal cord and a brain, whereas invertebrates have a notochord and most don't have a brain. More complex invertebrates, such as the squid, have a mass of an enlarged nerve cord in the head region resembling a brain.